Sports fans are gearing up at Interstate Sports, your home for officially licensed fan gear. We have jerseys, custom frames, team signs, draft tumblers, and more. For every sports fan's needs, visit interstatesportsgifts.com. The good. The bad. The ugly. The Colorado Buffaloes took on the Washington State Cougars and got embarrassed. This is the good, bad, and ugly film review. But before we get there, make sure you put a free Cavassier smoke in the comment section below. We want to see this young man get some carries, man. This is senior year, and there's only one game left. Now let's get to it. The good. All right, before we get started, just to let you know, all of these videos have been demonetized by YouTube due to the footage that we use. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also, share this video out to your fans and family. Also, be sure to check out interstatesportsgifts.com. It is today's show sponsor for all of your sports memorabilia needs. All the information is in the description below. Here we go. Let's check this deal out, man. Third and six, a minute left in the first quarter. Going to see a big play. They're already down by two touchdowns. But Shador does a good job in the pocket, and he sees the open Travis Hunter, man, great ball skills. Let's take a look at it, all right? As you see, they only bring in four. But Shador does a good job of navigating his way through. It's third and six, right? He could take the little crossing routes. May have missed him right here. But he sees his man down the field. Look at his great ball skills. My goodness, man. Golly. Now, I want to show this breakdown right here. This is a cover four beat play. You're going to see, I believe this is Mikey right here. Mikey Harris, he's going to come here. He's going to occupy this safety and maybe take a dig route. He's going to post this ball right behind his head. This is a cover four beater. You'll see it right here. See Mikey take this dig. He's going to drive this. Travis Hunter already knows. Once I post this ball out, there's no help. There it is. Great job. Should do us a little bit under pressure, but look at the ball skills by this dude, man. Ball is a little thrown, a little wacky, but come on, man. This kid ball skills is ridiculous, man. Out of sight. All right. The next good play, as you see the score right here, it's already 56 to 7. And we in a minute left in the third quarter. So it goes to show you a lot of good wasn't really happening. But here it is. Cam Ward goes down to get ready to score. But great play right here. Great way to hunt for the ball right here on the backside. And he ends up punching that ball out, really causing a fumble. And it goes through the back of the end zone. Here you go. See Big 55. Boom, he punches it out right before his hand can go forward. Now, here's what the people always tell you. Play to the whistle blows. If number two would have jumped on this ball, could have been a touchdown, right? But because it goes out the back of the end zone, ends up being a touchback, and the uh, the Cougars end up losing, actually, a touchdown out of that deal, and it could have been 63-7. to seven. All right, here we are. 13-51 in the fourth quarter. Look at this big time throw right here, man. This is a big time throw. I really thought that uh, Travis Hunter broke his leg the way it looked. I mean, look at that. It looks weird right here. But look at the ball skills, guys. Uh, I'm telling you. I I don't know what he's going to play at the next level, but he definitely can be a wide receiver at the next level. Look at this. One, two, three, four guys around him. He comes down with the ball. Body all messed up. And the ball actually didn't even catch it straight up. Look at this. Oh, look at his leg. But look at this ball. Watch this. He keeps it right on the side of his right on the side of his leg so it doesn't touch the ground to give him the go-ahead score. And as you see right here, fourth and goal. They don't get it in here to the fourth and goal. They gotta punch it in. They end up punching that deal in straight ahead, man. Great job right there. And that was Staub giving him his credit on that long pass to Travis, man. Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. All right. Here we are, 6.23 left in the fourth. The score is kind of out of hand already. Let's take a look at it. Great play right here by Shiloh with a strip, man. Come on. Great job, right? Let's, let's look at it. Easy little hitch, no big deal. Shiloh's right here, but look at the, the football IQ. Strips the ball out. Look at the ball in the air. He catches it. Let's go, baby. Now, they did go to, to replay it and check to see, 
But guess what? It was a strip, as you can see right here. Look at this. Catches it right before his knee go down. Look at this. Ball is already out. And one thing I will say about the Buffaloes, they continue to fight. I mean, the score was out of hand. But again, Shiloh continued to fight. He continued to fight, man. That's it for the good. Now let's get to the bad. The bad. All right, here we are with the bad. First and 10 in the second quarter, 13-36. As you see already, it's 21-7. Here we go. I mean, this right here was just amazing. Just a bad tackle. As you can see, little RPO game, right? They begin to come up. They leave them alone. But you got the sideline. I believe this is Kamani McLean, if I'm not mistaken. I, and, I, and I know he likes to cut real low. Sometimes, man, you got to meet these dudes head up, right? Look at this. You got a great tackle. You got the sideline to your to your benefit. Wrap him up and drive him. But you dive down there low, keeps you off of him, and now he's off to the races, man. No bueno. Third and six, 11-14 in the second. Right here, this is where actually Shador gets hurt and he actually gets put out the game at this point. Uh, Van Wells snaps the ball a little early, kind of hits him in the uh, man parts, and everybody kind of jumps on him, and I think he ended up twisting his ankle a little bit here. And as you can see, he kind of walks off the field. They go check him, and he ended up coming back in street clothes. But, you know, it, this was just Murphy's Law, man. Anything that could happen in this game happened in this game for the Buffaloes. And, and unfortunate. I mean, it's just unfortunate, man. He's been taking a lot of blows currently already at 50-plus sacks in the season. So, it just got bad for him, man. Mm. Great player. Great quarterback. All right. Here we are. Second and four. 5-0-2 in the second. Again, another little RPO deal. But look at this, right? We're not RPO, but a, a play-action deal. But they know they got the vertical. And this is a great throw by, I have to be honest, this is a great throw by Cam. You got press coverage. People talk about it all the time. No hands, though. But look at this throw. I mean, he's got to throw it. You see Shiloh converging on his ball. This is not bad coverage. Got his hand up late, but just good catch, good throw. Man, that's tough, boy. All right. As you can see, total yardage already in this thing. 232 to 106. And we are pretty much halfway through the game. Honey hole shot, big time throw, trying to score right before the half. This is cover two, so a lot of people say, oh, Kamani McLean messed this up. No, he kind of rerouted him. He did what he's supposed to do. But Cam throws this thing on a line, and he throws it perfectly. That's NFL, NFL type stuff. I mean, look at this deal. I mean, look at this. This ball is out before he even clears Kamani. Boom. And just a missed tackle. And luckily, Shiloh, I'll give him credit, try to punch it out here at the end. Three don't have enough gas to get in the end zone. But look what I like. Shiloh tried to punch it out there at the end, and it still came out. But unfortunately, the ground caused the fumble. 42-7, to seven, third and seven. Uh, right here with 7-14 left in the third. One thing I said about Washington, they did not take their foot off the gas. Look at this. This is just bad business, guys. It's third and seven. You're trying to get this ball back, right? I understand you're playing it, but you got to also play the sticks. This guy can't run the ball. So I don't know if there was a spy on this or what, but maybe you got a little bit too much depth, and before you know it, boom, he's gone. Also, let's look up here at the D-line, right? They run in the stunt. But he's hemmed up decent. He's hemmed up. You gave him the escape hatch, and he's going to take it too far up the field, guys. No penetration. And holla at you. Third and nine, 56 to seven. Two minutes and 43 in the third. All right. They bring in the, the quarterback. I want to say this is the Juco quarterback. He has to know you can't throw. You can't throw two forward passes here, man. You throw one and you, you catch it for whatever reason. Right? Should have batted it down, but you can't throw this again. Luckily, it didn't count because it became an interception. This is just all bad right here. All bad by all stretch of the imagination. Okay? All stretch of the imagination. It's third and nine. It's just, 
and, and I'll say this again. Let, let, let's look at the routes. You got to get to the sticks right here. Can I be honest? Nobody's beyond the stick. Nobody's beyond the sticks right here. So that means even if you catch it and get tackled, you can't convert this deal. Unbelievable, man. They got lucky on this one. That's it for the bad. Nah, it's about to get real ugly. The ugly. All right, here we are for the ugly. Third and five. First quarter, 14.03. Let's take a look at this piece. Just giving up the sack right here. Savion Washington just gives up the sack. Okay, let's take a look at this. Walks him back. One thing about his defense end, did a great job. Got to the depth of the quarterback. Now he can work his way back inside. Why? Because most quarterbacks are going to try to step up in the pocket. So that's what he does. Steps up in the pocket. Before you know it, there you go. Sack right there by number 10. Second and six, 903 in the first. I mean, let's look at this running game right here. I mean, it's just untouched. Kamani McClain, you got to do a little bit better. You see it. You can't just let yourself get hemmed up. You got to fight off. You can't just sit up there getting hemmed up like an old lady dressed in church. Here we go. They got the pulling. They bring it around. Right there. Bing. Great, great crack right there. Easy walk in. First and 10. 8.52 in the first. Should do it again. Drops back. Pockets weren't too bad, but they didn't have a secondary cover, right? Like if you look here right here, I mean, he's getting walked down. Tank is getting walked down, but he throws him inside. Great job. But now he throws him right there in the way because they put him in the mouse trap. Can't get out. And there's another sack. Just a complete breakdown right here by the whole old line. Look at this. I mean, here we go. Let, let, let's look at the center guard. Van Wells. And this guard is supposed to be doubling. Wells comes off, leaves him alone, and now this guard has to get him, and it's too late. Gets too much penetration. And before you know it, Cougar's coming from everywhere. First and 10, 528 in the first. Game is still in control right now. This is where Shiloh got hurt. I mean, Shador, excuse me. Shador got hurt. Let's take a look at Savion Washington, number 10. Just speed rushes him. Not really any true technique. Just kind of speed rushes him. Runs the hoop. Just turns the corner. <clears throat> Golly. And number 80, that's one of his two touchdowns for the night. Scoop and score. But unfortunately, man, that's just bad business, bro. Bad business. All right. Here we are. Special team. As Coach Prime said, not so special. 56 in the first. And this is after they scored their touchdown. They come right back and answer. My man here got wheels, baby. I mean, like, we chasing the same color. Let's talk right here. We got Mata. Mata, he's the last line of defense. I think he's too tight in here. And he gets caught back here on the double team, right? They taking his cookies. Look at this lane. Too many white jerseys in the same lane. Too many white jerseys outside in the same lane. You created a funnel. And that's just what he shoots through. And holla at you. And before you know it, nobody on this team has the foot speed to catch this cat. Mata rolling a little bit, but he ain't got that much. And this is when it started getting out of control, y'all. Third and 10. 12-16 in the second. Scores 21-7. to seven. Little screen action, right? I mean, this right here was just unacceptable, guys. Like, I mean, what are we talking about? Who has the back out the backfield, right? There's nobody has the back out the backfield. One, two, three, four. You blitz everybody. Somebody has to be responsible for this guy at some point. It is third and 10. Third and 10. And there you go. The little dump off. And before you know it, Savion Bentley, I'm sorry, Levante, Levanta Bentley, excuse me. Maybe he was supposed to have him. But he's too engaged. Before you know it, you don't have enough foot speed. Holla at you. Turn the corner on you. Touchdown. Third and goal. 
I mean, just the old quarterback draw on third and goal, right? They faking like they're going to throw the slant, let everybody work. It's like a draw counter here, right? Look how they pull it. Really old. It's, it's a quarterback draw GT, if you want to really call it that, in essence. It's really not, but in essence. All right, it's just an old counter tray. Come around, spill it. The one punches that deal in. And now this game is getting out of control. Now they're going to go for two in this situation. No, it's first to goal. I'm sorry. First to goal. They punched this deal in, right? I, I guess they didn't give it to him. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on. Let me look here. Maybe they didn't give it to him. I'm so confused. Maybe they said he was down. I don't know. I thought the refs had it, but maybe they said he was down. But anyway, you get the tush push. He's definitely in here. This is just bad, man. Offsides on the play. Doesn't matter. Touchdown. 42. It was so much scoring going on. I can't keep up. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> it's so much scoring going on. I couldn't keep up. All right. 42 to 7. Fourth and 11. Fourth and 11. This is the Juco quarterback. I forgot his name. Cold, I believe. Cold, I believe. And they go uh, here and they try to run it down. But unfortunately, nope. That's just one more sack in the game. They had a decent pocket here. Not a bad deal. But again, nothing to recover. Right here, he's getting worked. He's getting worked. And just, just too much pressure. And again, look at it. Uh, you know, Washington State is bringing pressure with just four. They're not even blitzing. All right. They're not even stunting. They're just bringing it. They're just coming straight up. Look, there's no real stunts here. Look at this. Oh, yeah, it is. But still, golly, guys. Whew. First and 10, 615. And they're not letting off the gas, y'all. Washington State was not letting off the gas. And, and I tell anybody and everybody, man, when you get up, do not let them come back, boy. I.E. Stanford. Look at this. Cam throws another dart out here. Boop. And that's on Travis Hunter. That's big time. And you're going to get a chance to look at this. Travis Hunter just had too much separation, and he didn't recover. And you'll see it right here in the next cut. Great release. And right here, this is where we start talking about the foot speed of Travis, right? The overall foot speed of Travis. And this, this right here is where the question comes in. Never could recover, could never catch up. And at the end of the day, it's bye-bye. 49-7. Miller the third, first and 10. My goodness. I, I don't know why Colorado tried to get fancy with the option, the speed option. But it didn't work well. The, the relationship and ratio was terrible. And again, number 80 has another scoop and score. And he takes that thing like 75 yards or something back to the house. You know, at one point, I thought this dude was going to have, <laughs> I thought this dude was going to have more uh, points than Colorado would have, but they scored again. And guess what? That's it for the ugly. Well, that's it for the good, bad, and ugly, ladies and gentlemen. Colorado Buffaloes have suffered five losses in a row and they won't make a bowl game and they still have one game left and they have to play Utah. Should be a tough battle and we'll see what happens, man. So make sure you stay tuned. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure that you put free Cavassier smoke in the chat. We're trying to get this young man some carries before he finishes his college career. And also make sure you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button before you head on out of this deal. And Make sure you check out interstatesportsgifts.com for all of your sports memorabilia needs. Anything you see, make sure you check it out or give them a phone call. I guarantee you got it. And with all that being said, Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50-yard line.